Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys are looking to make some serious money in GTA Online, then you're in luck because today on the show we have some amazing money-making opportunities and I have some great tips for you guys to help you out. The Bunker Business and the Gun Running DLC have just dropped some massive money bonuses and in this video, I'll be showing you guys the best ways to make money fast easy as well as completely solo with these weekly double money opportunities here you definitely don't want to miss out on this episode because we're talking about how to make millions of dollars every couple hours here so sit back relax enjoy let's get started with it you can either just relax and play for your own enjoyment like i was talking about and still make some good money or of course take everything that you see in this video implement it into your money grinding gameplay loop and routine and let me tell you with the money bonuses this week you will make game changing amounts of money here in gta online well to start off this video let's just go over everything that you can expect this week here in gta online so it is bunker week because we have double money and double rp on the bunker sale missions we have double speed on the bunker research speed we don't have double speed on the actual goods and stock production it's just research if you're actually assigning your staff to research then you're getting double the speed double the progress just as fast etc in addition to that we also have double money rp as well as research progress for doing the bunker research missions as well we have double money and rp on the fooligan jobs and double money and rp on the deadline adversary mode let's just start off with the bunker research missions first i showcased part of this in my weekly update guide from yesterday if you guys watched that video and what i was talking about in yesterday's video it has to do with the bunker research missions as well as the weekly challenge i would recommend you do three this week anyway because if you do complete the weekly challenge which is completing three bunker research missions you will get one hundred thousand dollars and you'll also get this t-shirt i'm wearing right here which is the warstock cash and carry t-shirt this is one of just like the pre-made gun running dlc outfits i'm gonna change my character's outfit in a moment i just wanted to see how it would look my character looks goofy so i'm gonna change it up but nonetheless you complete that weekly challenge and you'll get that t-shirt but what i want to show you guys is the mission itself because they're really fast they're really simple they take five minutes at most say if you're a player out there who's confused i already have all the research progress completed like can i even do these missions to get the weekly challenge yes you can what you need to do is call agent 14 on your cell phone so make sure he's added as a contact to your contacts list you may need to go into preferences and add him back if you removed him but nonetheless you just dial him up right here and what you're going to do is select the bunker research mission prompt right here request bunker research and we're going to activate this mission now this has a 20 minute cooldown per job so you complete this mission say in five minutes then you have 20 minutes to wait until you can do this again but just like the nightclubs you know where you could source the nightclub mixed goods for example that has a 20 minute cooldown as well if you go to the ls car meet there's a way to skip the cooldown and glitch out the game but we're not going be doing that in this video all we need to do is deliver the research data to the bunker you have to do this every single time you do these research missions it's all you do you basically go to an objective you kill a juggernaut you collect the research data you lose the cops you go back to the bunker and the mission's done it will normally pay you ten thousand dollars this week it's paying you out twenty thousand normally you get between one to two thousand rp for the missions but of course with double rp as well you're getting between two thousand and four thousand and normally you're also getting 16.66 percent research progress per research mission you're doing. But of course, this week with double research progress on these missions as well, you're gonna be getting 33.32% research progress per mission. So all we need to do is go to Polito Cove and I will show you guys the rest of this mission. Now, once you're over here, it's very fast, very simple. We actually, I had the same location in my video yesterday talking about the weekly update guide so if this looks a little bit repetitive i'm sorry but for anyone else who's just tuning into the channel for this money guide this is going to be a fresh mission we're playing right here so as you can hear there's a bunch of law enforcement down there right and what you're going to see if we look over the edge you're going to see the juggernaut in the distance we need to kill this guy and take the research data off him you're going to see all the law enforcement here he's fighting everyone what i recommend you do honestly is just take them out with whatever gun you deem you know right i i was using this marksman rifle yesterday and honestly it worked out pretty well you're out of like the shooting range of the juggernaut itself and only a couple more shots and he's taken down as you can see right there we have research data we got to collect but we need to clear out all the other cops here as well because they're not very happy with me actually killing this guy they wanted to arrest him or do whatever this guy took out the chopper already that is crazy this guy's on fire oh man this is a disaster out here on the docks i'm dying as well there's just death galore. It is Fiesta de Muerte out here. The festival and party of death, let me tell you. So here is the Juggernaut. We just want to hit right on the D-pad. 
collect this data of course now when you're doing this like i use weaponized vehicles i don't want to say I don't, I don't use weaponized vehicles i just don't use the oppressor mark ii that much because when i was grinding this game with the oppressor mark ii i just got super bored so i stick to more grounded vehicles but i'll still use my sparrow from time to time you don't really need to drive too far but of course to make this as fast as possible if you want to farm these and grind these use your oppressor mark ii use your sparrow use your buzzard attack chopper whatever you deem fit and necessary to complete this mission you can be much faster than me but i like to just drive around everywhere using normal normal sports cars, supercars, SUVs, you know, maybe some armored vehicles, things like that. I just get so bored of GTA when I use the Oppressor Mark II, so I personally don't use it. That's not my play style. I probably would have quit the game long ago if I continued to force myself to grind that way. I feel like the game is a lot more fun just driving cars around. But of course, to each their own, I would say, of course, objectively, you're going to be better at money grinding if you use the Oppressor Mark II or the Sparrow all the time. But we got to go to our bunker, so I'll see you guys back there. We lost our wanted level. We're coming up on the location of my bunker, and we want to just deliver the research data. And that is it. The mission's done. This took us five minutes. I'm in the Chumash bunker right now, and the Polito Cove mission isn't that far away. If you're in the city, though, like, say if you start the mission in the city, you don't need to be at your bunker or anything like that. But no matter where you are, you're going to get missions at, like, a truck stop on the highway northeast of the map you may get Polito Cove you may get some spawns out in Sandy Shores they're kind of all over the place I did one over here I did one out somewhere over here I'm pretty sure and then of course you get the Polito Cove mission as well so that is the first bonus I wanted to show you guys the double money RP and research progress on the bunker research missions you know is it worth farming these all week for money not necessarily but do them for the weekly challenge 15 minutes of work you get the 100 grand you get that cool exclusive t-shirt that you can get by doing these missions things like that now let's jump in to the next bonus i want to talk about which is the fooligan jobs so this bonus here i want to discuss is the dax fooligan jobs otherwise known as dax work and of course you need to call dax as a contact on your phone and i'm going to click this request work button from him these missions you normally do will pay you out normally on one time pay out fifty thousand dollars with the double money in rp it's one hundred thousand dollars this week there is a 48 minute cooldown on this type of activity so of course these are also are not farmable back to back to back but they're worth grinding at least 10 this week if you haven't already because this is going to allow you to unlock the acid lab equipment upgrade after 10 fooligan jobs have been completed you will then be able to purchase it if you do that you can reduce the amount of time spent making your acid product and also it's just overall i would say a necessary upgrade for your acid lab business long term if you're planning on playing GTA online for a while so that's just an extra incentive on playing these this week but you know they're kind of worth playing for fifty thousand dollars they're not a meta way of making money but you know just if you have five minutes of downtime to get something done you could do it but of course you know this week with one hundred thousand dollars you absolutely need to do them as well so this mission we need to go to la puerta and i actually i wasn't paying attention to the mission we got but we need to take out like this this mafia boss or this gang leader right so we're gonna go to the scrapyard we need to find him kill him and then we need to take like a truck and we need to drive it to a destination and in summary that is the mission right there so we're gonna go into this red question mark circle right here and we're just gonna go in guns blazing everyone is going to die today you absolutely need to watch out i forgot to mention here that these enemies these are like the armenian mob that's what it is it's not just a gang it's the armenian mob but nonetheless you need to watch out because these guys are going to damage you i forget exactly how many dax fooligan jobs there are there's like five or six this is a good variant of the mission that you want to get there's other ones where you need to go and like steal a go postal van or a the mission's called go postal you steal like a post op van and then you basically deliver it to a camp of hippies at like a settlement that they have up north and then you just want to detonate it blow up their base and kill everyone and then you just leave and that's another dax fooligan job that is worth i would recommend that one as well you can't really choose it's rng but those are just the good rng variants you want to get i like this one a lot so we need to find and eliminate this rival boss you can see he's right here but he goes down in one shot to the head so he's not too big of a deal what we want to do is pull out our phone open snapmatic take a picture of him and we want to send that to Dax. Now, Dax is going to contact us, but you saw over here, I was actually by that truck. This is the truck that we want to take and deliver it to our destination. And once we do this, the mission is going to be over. So it's this nice bobcat here, and we just want to recover these stolen goods, and we're going to need to drive 1.80 miles away. So I will see you guys at the destination. You know, there's going to be, I forget how many spawns, there's either two or three waves of enemies that are going to chase you, just like any other mission where you're taking back a vehicle or something like that. It's not really that big of a deal. But here we are we're coming up on the destination we just got absolutely shredded by that guy he just spawned right behind us you could see you don't want your stolen goods bar to go all the way down it's probably not going to happen unless you literally take like 
35 minutes to complete this mission. But once again, this is a five minute mission right here. Maybe six, seven minutes tops if you're really slow. All we want to do is just leave the area. So fly away on your oppressor or whatever vehicle you got, your sparrow, you can just run away. I'm going to call my vehicle and leave. But these are worth playing this week as well for that $100,000. Just, you know, spend the five minutes every single hour. You don't need to do it every 48 minutes and, and min max it. Just spend five minutes every hour, like after you do a tow truck mission at your salvage yard and get a DAX work done. Because you already have to wait, I think it is, what is it, 48 minutes on the cooldown for the salvage yard tow truck missions as well. So just do these back to back and, you know, knock out those like minuscule activities just to upkeep with all your businesses. This is extremely good to do that. As you can see, $100,000 right there. I didn't see how much RP, but you know, you're probably going to get anywhere from like what, three to 6,000 RP for that mission. So once again, another pretty decent bonus to take advantage of as long as you're implementing this with the bunker research missions, doing these. And now let's finally move on to the bonus that everyone has been waiting for double money on the bunker sale missions. Before we jump into the actual sale itself, I just want to let you guys know, of course, you guys see this truck right here. These types of bunker sale missions aren't double money. These are the ammunition contracts in your bunker. Of course, you know, you can deliver these every 48 minutes for $50,000. You're not making 100 grand for this. Whenever we have had a bonus on this specific dune loader delivery, Rockstar calls it the ammunition contract double money bonus. So these aren't associated with the actual bunker sale missions. If you're wondering, why you're still making $50,000. Don't worry, your account's not glitched or anything like that. This type of delivery isn't on bonus. But what is on bonus is the actual bunker sell missions, which we're going to check out right now. And when it comes to the bunker sales, I think the bunker in general, whether it's double money or not, it presents an unmissable opportunity for you to significantly boost your earnings in this game. A full bunker this week is going to net you $2,100,000. And the process is only going to require five resupplies to your bunker, meaning you're going to make $420,000 payout per resupply cycle. However, if you want to maximize your profits, you absolutely need all the upgrades for your bunker, all the different renovations, things like that. Of course, the aesthetic modifications to your bunker don't really impact your production, but what I recommend you do is invest in your equipment and your staff upgrades. So go to the buy upgrades tab, make sure you have the equipment upgrade here. That's going to accelerate your weapon manufacturing as well as your research progress and efficiency. And then of course, you want to get the staff upgrade as well. I buy the security upgrade. Some players say they've never bought the security security upgrade for their bunker and they've never been raided. I just, you know, make it a process and a habit to buy it for every single business because I just want to deal with raids as little as possible. And then when it comes to all of the other things you can get off the Maze Bank Foreclosures website, you know, I would recommend you get the living quarters. I think that's advantageous for spawning directly inside of your bunker. And that's also a feature that's especially useful for current gen players if you're on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and S and of course PC because you can spawn right into your bunker and get that ammunition contract track done initiate the resupply really fast if you don't have the master control terminal which i recommend you also get not really associated with this weekly update here in gta online but just a good idea in general and of course when it comes to actually selling your bunker in general let's talk about that your selling strategy is going to differ based on whether you're operating solo or with a team but if you go to sell stock and you want to sell to los santos what that's going to do is offer a 50 percent cash boost over a local sale as you can see right here Additionally, like I said, engage with that ammunition contract. That's going to net you a bunch of extra money in between the time you're actually resupplying and selling your bunker. Because say if you made that $50,000 for your ammunition contract every single hour, you know, by the time you actually sell a full bunker as well, you're making like an extra 600 grand off the ammunition contracts as well, which is pretty sweet right there. As long as you keep up with those deliveries once an hour. So with all that being said, you invest in your upgrades. You have a smart selling strategy that works for you and your play style. It's worth buying the bunker. Now, let's jump in. We want to sell to Los Santos. If you want to make even more money than $2,100,000, sell in a public lobby. You will get a 2.5% boost on your payout per player in the lobby, up to 20 players, meaning you can get 1.5x on your total bunker sale this week. So say if I were to go into a public session with 20 plus players and I sold my bunker right now, I would make $3,150,000 instead of $2,100,000. All right, so my sell mission is not a great one. What I did was I joined a public lobby and I did a little bit of lobby surfing to find a lobby with a bunch of players. It seems like this one's okay. We have a level 8,000 modder or he just changed his level or did a stat unlock or whatever the case is. We need to deliver these dang insurgents. These aren't the best ones. We have 22 minutes to do this. So we got to start 
pollen cheeks. We got two miles to drive. I hope this is just the drop off for these and it's not where you need to bring one to the location, drop it off, and then you gotta go back, get your next insurgent, drive it all the way, drop it off, and then you move point to point, but you need to do it with all three vehicles first. Those cell missions are really annoying. Well, here we are. We've rolled up to the location of our second drop point. We are making a great time, in my opinion. No one's chased us or anything like that, which is great news. I gotta be honest, we're making fantastic time right now. This isn't the mission where you need to deliver each one of your insurgents to the drop-off location before you can move on to the next area to drop off all the next set of packages. This is just deliver each insurgent one by one, you're good to go. So here's the final insurgent right here. We've only spent about six minutes on this mission because I've been flying my Sparrow back. This is the last delivery location. One of them was over here and then the other one was in the city sort of near the players. The first one actually was by the player, so I got kind of nervous, but this should be a piece of cake. We just got to drive right down the highway. So let's go do that. And now it says I'm currently in a session on my own. What happened? What happened to all the players? They all just disappeared. What? I, has this happened to you before? Are you kidding me? I mean, thankfully, you know, we didn't have any trouble with this delivery. It would be really annoying if some cargo got blown up or something, but like, what happened? I got disconnected from the lobby. You know, you don't get disconnected from the game with the way these, these edge servers work and the peer-to-peer -peer connection in this game, but like, what happened to all the players? They're all just gone. Am I gonna get the payout? I started the mission when there were 14 players in the session, and then as I was delivering the first and second vehicles, I, I think maybe the lobby went up to 17 or 18 players, so I was wondering if I was going to get that payout. I was really excited to show you guys. Now I'm in a session on my own, so I'm just going to get the $2,100,000, I think? That's ridiculous. We'll have to see. I'm actually not sure if they count it how many players are in the session when you complete the mission, or if it's how many that were in the session when you started. I'm not sure what the threshold is. I usually just sell an invite-only session, so this is going to be a first for me. Let's check it out. We are gonna drive this last insurgent right into the spot, get the little cutscene. That's the bunker sale mission done right there. $2,100,000 at the very least. I'm hoping I get a little bit of a high demand bonus right there. We're not gonna get it. it is, it's how many players are in the session when you finish the sale mission. So $2,100,000. We're not gonna get any sort of high demand bonus because every single player in the lobby left the session. You guys saw it. Now we're on our own. That's it. What? What happened? That's crazy, man. Ugh, that just ruins the vibe for this whole video, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the $2,100,000 is obviously good. I'm not complaining about that. I just like, you know, I never sell in public lobbies because I wanna guarantee myself a safe and easy and hassle-free sale mission. You know, I'm also not pressed about, you know, trying to nickel and dime the actual sell missions themselves because I just wanna keep it moving. I have a lot of different businesses I need to keep track of, things like that. So I don't really wanna play around with the public lobbies and risk losing my sale, needing to change sessions, make back the little bit of stock and supply and goods that I may have lost, etc., or risk losing it all to a modder or something like that. But either way, that's just disappointing. The one time I do a public lobby sale for a video and then that happens and we get the same payout as if I would have just delivered in an invite only session anyway. Let me know in the comments if that's happened to you before that's never happened to me. I'm pressed about that. But with that all being said, we're gonna wrap things up right here. If you guys are wondering what vehicle this is, this is the Progen T20. This is on discount this week. It's 30% off. It's a fantastic vehicle in this game that you absolutely need to purchase. But that is all of the money guide content I wanna bring you guys this week. We talked about double money, double RP, and double research progress on the bunker research missions. Showed you guys how to complete that weekly challenge. Showed you guys how to just start it in the first place. If you're wondering if you can even get the progress. Showed you guys the double money on the Dax Fooligan jobs, which are very fun and they're worth it for the 100 grand and of course the bunker sell missions there's two ways of going about it do one resupply yourself and then sell if you want to get minimal sale vehicles and just guarantee yourself one or of course fill it up all the way to the max and risk a very long and tedious sale but honestly it's still not too bad especially with the extra 50 percent buff to the timer on the sale missions themselves yes they're still going to take you a long time but the extra time that you have to complete them is helpful so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new check me out over on twitch twitter and instagram if you guys want to see more gt online live streams as well as me just tweeting about rockstar games over on twitter as well thank you guys so much hopefully you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next gt online video tomorrow where we're going to be reviewing the two free vehicles for the week the podium vehicle and the ls car Me series prize ride hope to see you guys there and adios amigos